Welcome to the lair of the Batty Boffin. Hi there Batty fans. This is a video all about experiment number 19, sweaty plants. And what we're going to be doing here is learning about something called transpiration. In order to do this experiment you will need some little cups or mugs or something, some water and some sticky tape, some plastic bags, not too big, I've got kind of large sandwich bags, it's important that they're see-through though, and you'll also need some bits of green leafy something or other. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make up three initial setups and then there's others as well you can do. Have a look on the Batty Boffin website, www.battyboffin.co.uk, where you'll be able to find a downloadable project sheet for this. It's number 19 and it's got all the instructions, all the stuff you need on there and some ideas for extension. But for the basic one, what you're going to do is make three setups. For the first one, we're just having a cup and a bag. So you'll need to get your bag waft it about a bit so that it's got some air inside it. Don't blow inside it because that'll put water vapour in there. Your breath has got water vapour in it and this experiment is all about water vapour. So waft it about to get some air and then once you've got some air out in it you're going to put it over the top of your cup like that, keeping as much air in as you can and then Get your sellotape and just seal it round there nice and tightly. So the first one is just a cup with a bag over the top of it and that's your control. In best Blue Peter tradition, here's one I did earlier. So that's just got air inside it, nothing else. The second one you make is exactly the same but this time you put a couple of centimetres of water in the bottom. So here's one of those that I made earlier. Okay, So it's exactly the same, it's just got water in the bottom. Now for the third one, a little bit tricky. What you're going to do is get your greenery and I kind of taped mine all together to kind of keep it under control. You need to put it in a cup with a little bit of water in the bottom, same amount of water as last time. So you're going to put your greenery in there, you might even put it the right way up, I'm not sure that it matters. And then you've got to tape over the top around the greenery so that the water doesn't get out because on the second one we're looking at the water in the cup that's producing the water vapour. Here we don't want the water in the cup to be doing it, so lots of tape all over the top, so from side, across here, down there, with the stalks in the middle. I'll just show you with one stalk, obviously you're going to have more leaves on than that. Okay, so you want to have the tape going back in front of it and to the side of it and all the way round, taped nicely down, so that the water and the water vapour can't get out of the cup. And then you put a bag over the top of that, and it should look like this. So that's my third one. You see the water in the bottom down there. Make sure the stalks are in the water. And what you're going to do is put all of those in a nice warm place and leave it for a bit and just watch what happens. Hopefully you might see some water vapour collecting on the inside of some of the bags. Now those are your three primary setups. As I say on the project sheet there are some other ideas you could try. But the question is what's going on? Well don't watch the second part of this video until you've done your experiment and see what happens, but assuming that you've done your experiment, here's what's going on. It's something called transpiration. Excuse me while I get rid of this greenery. A bit too much. Okay. Plants drink. Well, we know this. If you've got a plant at home, you have to water it, don't you? Or if you've got cut flowers in a vase, you have to water them. And that water goes away. Where's it all going to? Well, some of it, I suppose, will be evaporating into the air, but most of it isn't, nor not from the soil anyway. It's a wonderful way that plants have of sucking up and sweating. Plants actually sweat. So here's a really bad picture of the trunk or the stem of a plant. This green here is supposed to be the, the stem. So here's the kind of the, the thick stem walls. Okay. And Coming off, we've got a couple of leaves. Now, leaves, on the bottom of them, have little tiny pores. You can't, you can't see them with the natural eye. They're little pores, which means little, little holes, like you have in your skin. Posh word coming up for you here. They're called stomata. It just means little holes in the bottom. And those little holes can actually open and close. If you look at it microscopically, 
you have a couple of cells that are shaped, ooh, not like that, <laughs> that are shaped like that. And they can open and close. So there they are slightly open. Here they are quite a lot open. And here they are closed. And they will open and close in order to let water out, in order to sweat. They're usually located on the undersides of the leaves and when the plant wants to suck up some water, what it does, it will open those guard cells. It's kind of like that. You can do it with your hands. There they are closed and they will open like that and the water will allow it to come out, just tiny, tiny amounts. And so I've drawn it here as blue as the water escaping as water vapour in the same way that um, a dog will put its tongue out and pant and the water escapes from its tongue. Similarly on here, the water escapes from the bottom of the leaves. And as the water escapes from the bottom of the leaves, more water is drawn up through these tubes. Plants have all got lots of tubes inside them. You can see it in celery, very clearly. So they've got these little tubes that come up that contain water, which have the wonderful name... Xylem. That's a really good name. It starts with an X. Xylem. And they're the tubes that the water flows up, and they go all the way down to the roots. If you've got roots. If it's a cut plant, they just go into the vase. And so as the water evaporates from the underside of the leaves through these stomata, these little holes, more water is drawn up through the xylem tubes. And that's how come that plants can suck water out of a vase or they draw it up through their roots if they're planted in the ground. And that we should see in our experiment, hopefully, well possibly you might see the water going down, maybe, maybe not, but you should certainly see this water vapour, as it comes off from the leaves, gathers on the inside of the plastic bag. If you tried some of the extension experiments, I'll leave you to work out which ones of those should be getting condensation on the inside of the bag through transpiration. I'll write that on the board. This is called... Transpir... I'm not going to write it A... Transpiration. Transpiration. That is the evaporation of water through the stomata that leads to the drawing up of water through the xylem tubes. Fab name. See you next time, Batty fans. <laughs>